Welcome back. Um, I am so happy that you're here today. We are going to do a breast cancer warrior tumbler. Um, I got an order for one of these and I've always wanted to do one and I've always had kind of different ideas for it, but, um, I was very, very inspired by the decal that we're going to use on this tumbler. So what I did was took it outside, put, um, a coat of just a bright pink that I had and I really wanted it to be a brighter pink. I'm going to use a softer pink later on in the tumbler, but right now I really wanted to bring out as much pink as possible. So I'm going in with, I believe that's Let It Rip. I'm going to make sure, but I think it's Let It Rip. And then this one is Mini. These are both from uh, Peach Olive Glitters. Now, these were a match for the colors in the decal. So that's why I am kind of doing this ombre look, right? So I'm starting off with the Let It Rip at the bottom, and then I'm starting off with, I mean, then I'm putting Mini on the top and then now I'm going in with this bunny suit from Chase Ray. Now it was a very soft pink that I didn't really have. Um, I just don't have every single one of Peachy Olive's gl Olive Glitters yet, even though I would love to have every single one. I don't, I didn't have anything that really gave that light colored pink. And this bunny suit is one of my favorites from Chase Ray. It really works very beautiful when you want just that simple, like ballerina pink color. And like I said, I just did a simple ombre. I did not try to get it completely exactly accurate, although I think I did a pretty good job, but I'm going to be doing a peekaboo on this. So I just needed the basics of the that one color going into that other color going into the other color. And that is for the decal colors um, that we're using for this tumbler. I did do the epoxy method on that. I put some epoxy on there and then sprinkled it on. Anytime I do an ombre like that, I for sure love to have the epoxy method because it just gives you so much more working time than anything else. And it gives you like the best coverage, I think. So what I did was went in with the Crystal Act glitter glue and I am covering just that middle part first because it was the lighter pink and then I went up to the little bit darker pink and then I'm going to go down into the bottom um, but it was I'm just sealing this up and like I said I'm going to be doing a peekaboo on this so I wasn't too worried about any kind of contamination but I don't really get much contamination especially when you're using this really awesome glitter like peachy olives and chase ray they just they just all meld well together. And so you don't really have too much unless you're doing something like a black and white. So of course I let that dry. Um, any of those glitter glue type things or polycrylic, I always make sure that I give that a significant amount of time to dry. Um, I have done too many times where I have waited not just long enough and um, it becomes real milky and um, it just doesn't work out so make sure you really let this dry it really feels dry it, there's no like little wet clumps or anything like that and then I just went in with um, a couple of coats of epoxy and after I got enough epoxy on there to where I felt like it was safe for me to sand um, you never want to sand too early um, if you feel like this is just, it's just too much sticking out. Um, just take your time and do another coat of epoxy. And then um, you can go in with a little bit. And I just like to file these down instead of using the sander. Um, I mean, the sanding block, because it just sometimes, ugh, it's just sanding. It's just such a pain. So the, um, just doing that file really helps out. I did clean it off with some uh 91% isopropyl alcohol. And what I did was I made a, um, a template in Cricut Design Space. I got this off of Creative Fabrica and it was just a, just a leopard print with the ribbons in there as well. And so what I did was just make a huge template over the uh, size of the tumbler. So I, I measured before, I mean, after I did all the epoxy, before I went in and did the measuring, I made sure that all of that was done, uh, that the epoxy and glitter and everything was done before then. So I knew exactly how much space I had or didn't have to work with. And using my big squeegee there that I love from the Bowen, um, I just put it all over, just 
wrap the entire thing around and we are not looking for accuracy here there's no geometric thing that you have to line up this is totally leopard print you know uh, ribbons nothing you have to worry about I did make sure that everything was staying down as I was going, you know, as I was taking that transfer tape off. Um, I was kind of making sure that even if it was on the top or the bottom, that there was a little bit that was on there. I kind of left it so that we could have that look of like, okay, we can cut that piece off and have like half of a ribbon or half of a leopard print or, you know, just to kind of give it that illusion that it was like peekaboo. It was wrapped all around. And because I'm going to be taking this outside and spray painting it with a pink color, I did not want to have anything sticking up. So I'm going to trim the bottom, trim the top. Um, I'm going to use my Cami Page Boutique um, cutter here. I just moved it up a little bit and then I am going to cut the top or moved it down to cut the top moved it up to cut the bottom kind of thing and then I just made sure that I really rubbed everything down so that I didn't have any issues um, with anything peeling up because when we go to spray spray paint it outside I don't want any paint to get up underneath any of um, those stencil pieces that we've left on the tumbler. It took me a, min a minute to try to figure out exactly. Um, it was very hard to see. I don't know why, but it took me a minute to kind of go, okay, this is what I need. This, these are the parts I need to take off. These are the parts I need to keep on. Um, it probably would have been easier to do it the other way, but you know, that was not the point. We wanted the, everything else to be like a peekaboo. Anyways, it took me a while to get started. I finally figured it out. I finally started getting into a groove. Um, and then I was just removing all of those cut pieces, uh, just moving it into the light to kind of see where those cuts were. Um, it did take me a little bit of time to do this. I sped this up tremendously, but um, I did after that, go in and use the pieces that were left over on the top and the bottom you know just those little bits that um, I just kind of allowed for a little bit of um, room for top and bottom and out you know just to make sure that we were getting the coverage all the way around and so I did take those last little bits and just put them um, around the tumbler in just little places that I thought could use it. So I took this outside and spray painted it with this dusty pink. Oh, I'm going to screw the name up, but um, rustic pink, maybe. Anyways, I'll try to find the color, but I just wanted to use just a very subtle pink, something um, a little more muted. And that was because um, the person that ordered this cup also kind of had sent me a picture, but I don't want to do exactly the same thing that the lady had done before. So I was kind of using inspiration, but she did use this kind of beigey pink color. And so I thought I would honor that design in this, you know, design that I was doing. But, but other than that, I was going to kind of make it my own. So I just went around um, very, very carefully. I did speed this up. Please know that I always speed up my videos just in order to make sure that I can get as much content as I can or as much information as I can. So um, I went around and very slowly, very carefully peeled up all of that stencil vinyl, revealing that glitter. And as you can see, we've got that kind of bright pink and then that real small, like, ballerina pink in the middle that real light colored pink and then we have that darker let it rip color at the bottom um, and I really liked that ombre look it just kind of allowed for us to have a little bit more fun instead of just going uh, just a straight generic color with pink you know we we added a little bit more fun and flair into it and I did just make sure I went around and getting all those last bits or any um, thing that was left over just to make sure um i also was trying to decide on whether or not i wanted to do the decal in the certain spots but as you can see the decal there see how i got the colors that's why i wanted to do those three colors so anyways 
I also talked to my friend Stacy at Lily Bean Crafts. Um, she has a channel as well, and uh, her and I are very close. And I asked her opinion on this, and I was like, "What do you think? Do you think we should? I should do like an outline?" Um, or not. And she said that I should do some outline. Well, it was a lot easier for me to just take the whole thing and just do an offset and then just slice through that. And then I have the, the offset of everything. And then I have like the outline of everything. So I ended up doing a lot more than just one, but I did leave a few that were not done, but, um, it was very much like a puzzle trying to figure out exactly what size and which one went with which one. Um, and so it did take me a little while to kind of get started on that. <laughs> and so that's why I kind of just did only the ones that I actually could find and that I really definitely knew were matching up with each one and, um, you know, in their position on the tumbler and how they ended up and that kind of thing. So, um, but I did have a lot of fun with this. I, I do think that it added just that ever so, uh, ever so little just elegance to it. And I think it definitely needed it. Um, but I was, it was very simple to do this. I just took the exact same thing that I did on the tumbler that I cut out in that stencil vinyl. And then I just, did an offset and then I sliced that through and then we were end up we ended up with these you know this little bit of uh, these outlines um, that was the best way that I found that I could do it um, but anyways it was very simple but then it just took me a long time to kind of uh, puzzle piece this together <laughs> but I did it. I ended up doing it and I love the way it turned out. So I was very happy. Thank you, Stacy, for your advice. It was, like I said, um, a little bit difficult for me to find all of the right pieces. And then I think maybe I put the wrong piece on the, the wrong one, but all in all, all in all, it was very cute and it did turn out. Um, but it did take me some time to, <laughs> So, um, if you have a way, a better way of doing this, let me know. Also, um, you know, just make sure maybe do them at the same time, maybe, and then keep them in the same angle or something. Maybe that would be better. Not sure, but, um, I'm just letting you know that I did get through it. It just took me a lot longer than I would have liked, or that would have been better, you know, time spent somewhere else. And so after that, I went in with a coat of Mod Podge because I had been touching this all over and um, there was a lot of vinyl going on. This was also um, kind of like a chrome vinyl and so I didn't want any of that peeling up. I also didn't want any um, bubbles or anything. So I just went over it with coat of Mod Podge, um, easy, simple, let that dry for about 30, 40 minutes and then went into um, coats of epoxy. So I sprayed this down with some alcohol just to wipe down any um, fibers or anything like that, just kind of wiped it down. I didn't put another coat of epoxy because I wanted this to be clear because this decal is clear and I just wanted to make sure that it was, um, you know, there was no sand marks underneath that clear vinyl. Now, what the next thing I'm gonna show you is why I put the decal in the spot that I put the decal in. There was this one little piece that I don't know if I didn't see it or if I just didn't wanna see it or if, um, I don't know, I just thought it was gonna not be there when I got done, I don't know. But I saw it maybe and then I was like, no, that's not what it is, but it did very look very much, you know, phallic to me so I was like I am going to stick this decal right on top of this little piece here because um yeah no I wasn't having it so I really wanted to do it in the middle of the tumbler and I had a great spot for it but after that happened um I was like you know we just need to cover this up so she loved it and this will just be between the two you know us so 
just don't tell anybody and uh, we all never know that it was there so anyways put that on there um i did not seal it because you don't need to do that the these decals from peach olive glitters are perfectly fine just going right under epoxy and um, so i just put a coat of epoxy on this then i did some sanding i sanded the rim made sure everything was really good and ready for that final coat and then i went in with those final coats and there she is i'm so happy that i got to do one of these tumblers um i have always wanted to kind of honor the warrior that women are that women that true women um do have to deal with and um anyways i just was very proud of this and i was proud of the colors that came through um i really enjoyed the design of this i enjoyed just all of the aspects of just kind of working through certain things and um, getting help from your friends all of that is just is what goes into this art uh, you know that we do as tumblers and i was very pleased with this but um, i hope you love it and i hope it inspires you to do a peekaboo they're very very simple they seem very intimidating but they're very easy anyways please like and subscribe comment down below let me know what you think and um i'll see you next time <laughs>